Yeah. Uh, you're tearing up. Yeah, I watching see you getting you emotional. <laughs> what, are, what are you feeling? I, I, I love this movie. I really love it. When, my, when we first saw the first cut, uh, we sat down in our home and, and Kate saw it. She said, oh my God, it's the best thing I've ever done. She started crying. <laughs> but uh, he's a man looking for his own face and finds it as well. Uh, this hippie comes into his life and he finds new purpose and uh, started a movement that is still, still going. Well, I want to talk about something that's linked to this, which is the Jesus Revolution movie. And the producer of Jesus Revolution has been talking about how miracles have been happening since it has hit the theaters. And I want to play this clip from Kelly and Ryan's show because I think it's so profound. Kelsey Grammer was sharing about how the movie impacted him. And this has reawakened him to Christ. He had a Christian foundation in his youth, but something happened through this movie where he was gripped by the man Christ Jesus. And he shares a little bit of that as he is sharing the story with him. As he's just watching a clip from the movie, he gets gripped with emotion. So play that clip. From Jesus Revolution, tell us about it. It's a nice movie. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Really I sweet. mean, yeah. you're tearing up. Yeah. I see you getting emotional. <laughs> what, are, what are you feeling? <laughs> Can I play doctor? Um, what yes, do you of feel? course. Um, I, I, I love this movie. Yeah. I really love it. And when, my, when we first saw the first cut, uh, we sat down in our home and, and Kate saw it. She said, Oh my God, it's the best thing you've ever done. She started crying. <laughs> but, uh, He's, uh, he's a man looking for his own faith and finds it as well. Uh, a man whose church is empty and he can't get uh, traction and he's starting to think he's going to be fired from his job as a pastor. And uh, uh, this hippie comes into his life and he finds a new purpose and uh, started a movement that is still, still going. I just think it's so profound that out of all the roles he's played, this one touched him because it actually changed his life. And I also think it's really interesting how hungry people are for Jesus Revolution because over you know 15.5 million in box office since the opening weekend is showing that's a competitor to other mainstream box office champions that are out there. Again, I want to remind you, they were expecting a good release would have been $7 million, but they had 15.5 million. And I love that the Irwin brothers who helped direct this, they were quoted saying that, you know, it's a divine hand of God and the timing of the movie that it happened around the Asbury Revival where people are seeing on their social media that there's an Asbury Revival. It was trending as one of the, trending as one of the top three searches on Twitter for like a week. I, that's crazy. Out of everything you can search for on Twitter, it was one of the top three. And so people are hearing about it even in the mainstream world. And you have to realize how many people have a Christian foundation in the Western world but don't really know Jesus. And so they're curious. They're spiritual. They're hungry. But they don't know Jesus. And so they're, all of a sudden there's a movie to go see that makes it easier. And it's the story of Greg Laurie, which I'm so proud of him and his wife for telling their story this way. It's just so beautiful. And I think it's you know also a sign of a spiritual awakening that God wants to bring to the world around us right now. And I think it's good news for Christians, the inspiring story of this Jesus movement that swept through Southern California in the late 1960s and early in the 1970s has been brought to the big stream in a new film that, you know, this movie that's been directed by these beautiful Christians who've told a lot of stories lately on the mainstream, you know, market and industry that have been, they've, they've gone way past anything that we've ever seen before in the, the church. They're telling the story of how a struggle, struggling church opened its doors to a charismatic street preacher who was a hippie, leading to one of the greatest spiritual awakenings in American history. You know, before we go on, I do want to tell you that we have a spiritual growth academy and you can grow with us. And I have a class coming up in March for four weeks. I want you guys to realize that you can grow in understanding your destiny. Like, what am I called to do? And then what are the resources that I'm called to steward to do that calling that destiny before you were born? This is in Ephesians 2, that God planned you and he has a destiny for you. So what is that destiny? How do you unlock it? And it really comes to how you love Jesus and the people you're called to love with Jesus's love. That sense of empathy and compassion and passion starts to brew inside of you. And you start to discover that your talents, your gifts are not just for having fun in life or doing a career, but they're actually part of your mission in life to give Jesus his great reward by doing what you were called to. And some of you don't know how to figure that out, discover it. Maybe you've discovered the calling, but you feel limited by the resources. Well, this class is gonna help you. It's four weeks. There's uh, recorded uh, classes every week, but then there's live classes. We're gonna be answering your questions and we're gonna be praying together. And I believe it's gonna be a prophetic moment in some of your lives, a destiny moment in some of your lives. So I'm gonna encourage you to join us in this because I think about like all this awakening that's happening. We need to have 
practical tools for where do I go next? And so I'm providing a practical tool. And if you join our Spiritual Growth Academy, then you also get all the other classes and all of the other events that we do every month. We do an event every month and a class every month. And we have classes all the way back to last, I believe, January and February. So you're going to have months and months of classes, which is so cool. Well, let's go back into the reality of this Jesus Revolution movie. I think, you know, the revival which so many young people turned to Christ was dubbed the Jesus Revolution or Jesus People Movement that this movie is reporting by Time Magazine. And the film's director was so inspired to make the movie after seeing the two, two Time Magazine covers of, that were four years apart. One cover asked, is God dead? And the other featured a psychedelic image of Jesus giving credit to the undeniable spiritual movement happening in American society. And the film features a face story of Pastor Greg Laurie, who leads one of the largest church congregations in the country today, and his wife, Kathy, both of whom were part of the Jesus movement. Actor Joel Courtney plays the role of Greg Laurie, and while Anna Grace Barlow portrays Kathy Laurie, and the chosen Jonathan Rumney uh, plays a young charismatic preacher, Lonnie Frisbee. And for those of you who don't know this, it's a really fun fact. My friends, Bob and Lauren Hassan, Bob, who leads Exploring the Marketplace, our other podcast and show, CBN News Show with me, Bob and Lonnie were like close friends all the way until Lonnie's death. So I'm going to be asking Bob soon some stories that you don't hear everywhere else about Lonnie, which is really fun. The cast and filmmakers believe the story of Jesus movement is just as relevant today as it was in the 1970s. And actor Jonathan Rumney believes that when society's need for community and a relationship with God is compromised, the spirit starts to rebel, leading to revivals like the Jesus movement. 